Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Monday, August 29th, 2022. Today I'm talking about monkeypox prevention for schools and child care settings. Now schools are back in session across the United States in many places. And the CDC recently updated its guidance to schools and child care facilities for children on August 19, 2022 on their website. I will include the link for uh, future reference. Now, I personally think that this guidance is pretty thorough. It's easy to understand and follow. You do not have to have any healthcare training to understand this guidance, just in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna share a few key points. Keep in mind, it is not all of the guidance and the guidance for teens and adolescents is different than what I'm sharing today in this message. Now, for a few key points. The CDC said that at this time, the risk of monkeypox to children and adolescents in the United States is low. They note that monkeypox can infect anyone, including children, if they have close, personal, often skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone who has monkeypox. They note that monkeypox can be spread by touching contaminated objects such as toys or eating utensils, fabrics such as clothing, bedding, sleeping mats, or tiles, and surfaces that have been used by someone with monkeypox. The CDC recommends that children and staff and volunteers stay home when they're sick and that schools should make certain that there are adequate hand washing supplies, including soap and water, because you can't really be putting a lot of hand sanitizer on young children who may be ingesting significant amounts of alcohol in their mouths. Now, children, uh, schools should maintain routine cleaning and disinfection practices. Now, if a child comes to school with suspected monkeypox, schools should have a plan. You always have to have a plan for all infectious disease exposures, which includes monkeypox. Now, they recommend these components of your plan. Immediate masking and isolation of the student, identifying ahead of time private spaces where you can assess this ill child away from others, that you have personal protective equipment, PPE, that's gowns, gloves, uh, mask, um, maybe a head covering, maybe shoe covering, it depends on the situation. But having PPE available for staff who care for students with infectious diseases, um, they recommend cleaning and disinfection, but you got to see the website for those details. It's far too much information for me to go over here. Now, the CDC says that items that can't be cleaned, disinfected, or laundered should be thrown away. And children and staff, other than the ones that are doing this cleaning and disinfecting, should not enter that area until the disinfection is completed. Now, the CDC says at this time there is no need for widespread vaccination for monkeypox among children or staff at K-12 through schools or early childhood settings, and that schools and child care settings will need to work closely with their local health department for guidance if there is an exposure to monkeypox. So that's my message today. I hope it's been helpful, and I do hope that these facilities will plan ahead. That's my message. Be careful, be well, be safe.